One of the biggest advances in cardiology is balloon therapy, which can remove blockages in coronary arteries that cause chest pain and even heart attacks. The procedure is called angioplasty, and the key is being certain you'll benefit from the procedure and that you minimize the risk. We went to the Cleveland Clinic, a national center of excellence, to see when angioplasty is best undertaken. Patients who are good candidates for angioplasty are those patients who have relatively limited disease, which means that they have a blockages in one or two coronary arteries. If you're actually having a heart attack, balloon therapy can rapidly open clogged blood vessels and limit the damage, even save your life. There isn't much time to spare, so if you think you're having a heart attack, call 911. Paramedics should get you to a hospital as quickly as possible. There is a gray area between the severe three-vessel disease that does better with bypass surgery and the limited disease that does well with angioplasty. That's where a second opinion makes sense. You'll want to be certain that your team is highly experienced with a large volume of cases and a low complication rate. The numbers that we most commonly look at is the risk of death, which should be less than 1%, or the risk of any major complication. And major complications of angioplasty are heart attack, and the risk should be around 1% and a risk of a stroke, which is a major complication and the risk should be under 1%. You'll also want to discuss the long-term risks and benefits of various kinds of stents. For instance, some elute small amounts of drugs to prevent clotting, but require the chronic use of medications. Be sure you know what kind of therapy to take after angioplasty. If you've had a heart attack or you've had an angioplasty, everybody should be on low-dose aspirin. 181 milligram aspirin a day. Angioplasty doesn't change the fundamental course of your illness unless you're suffering an acute heart attack. Coronary artery disease is progressive and will continue even after angioplasty. That's why an aggressive program of medical therapy is so important. With the right cardiologist, the right hospital, and a good medical program, chances are very good you'll feel better than you have for years.